And we are at Tampa Airport headed to Seattle today for our Alaskan cruise. Now we are coming on to Amazon Go. I'm the Pikes and Place clam chowder has really high reviews. Oh, salmon chowder. Salmon empanada. Have you? Pikes Place clam chowder has really high reviews based off of this um, poster and pretty lengthy line. Here's a look at the menu, some of the menu items they have. Sherry's thinking about getting the smoked salmon chowder. Here's the people here. They have the ability to um, order through mobile for pickup, or if you wait in mind, you'll be able to pick up your food, but also eat it within the place. Although, as you can tell, very limited seating. And it's within this little um, alleyway inside Pike's Place by Pine, is it Avenue or Street? A little post alley, Pike's Place. As you can tell, it's quite crowded. A lot of tourists here. But really large variety of food like right next to each other. So if we actually go further into the little alleyway here, there's actually the mobile order pickup for Pike's Place Chowder right here. You can avoid some of the long, lengthier lines just by ordering through the mobile app. You'll be able to pick it up and then take it to like a, those nearby eating areas and eat it and not have to wait in such a lengthy line. So we just found this uh, food eating area and we're going to eat our, our, uh, our chowder. And look at the view we have here. We have the Norwegian ship out on the horizon. This is at Pike's Place. And what we got here, what did you get? You got the, the smoked I salmon got chowder. The smoked salmon, smoked salmon chowder, which is authentic Northwest flowers with smoked salmon, capers, and savory cream cheese richness. It's like lox and bagels without the bagels. There it is right there. Right. Take the cover off. That's how it looks like. Comes with a small little biscuit. Some bread there. Some crackers. Yeah, yeah, so far. Um, we also got to drink, we never had one of these, a Mella watermelon water. Um, I don't know if it's carbonated. It looks like it's carbonated, but I'm not sure. Um, well, let's try it. Somewhat low in calories, but we're going to try that. And then what I got um, is uh, empanadas. Oop. Right there. So one of them is a salmon empanada. The thing is, like, we're from Florida, right? Of course, you get empanadas like everywhere, right? But I never rarely see in Florida a salmon empanada. Have you? Yeah. So I figured, like, it's a bit of a hybrid food fusion. So you might want to try it out. And then, you know, I had to get a second empanada, or else they were going to charge me extra. So uh, with a credit card charge, so I got a chorizo based empanada. So I'm going to try that. All right. Oh, I should have gotten they have a sampler. We could have tasted all the different chowders. Damn, why didn't I see that? All right, so this I opened. It smells like straight out like a watermelon, like real watermelon, not like the sugary, sweet candy watermelon. This smells like the like an actual fruit of a watermelon. So let me taste it. Yeah, this is where it's at. It tastes like the juice of an actual watermelon. It doesn't taste like candy? No. It tastes like an actual the juice that falls out of the watermelon. But it's actual water, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's, it looks like water. Is well, it carbonated? Well, I guess that is water that comes out of the water. Is it fizzy drink? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, I like it then. <laughs> no. It is so good. I'll try it then. Try the watermelon. Oh, you're right. It does taste like the juice out of a real watermelon. That is so weird. I like it. And um, right. it's not sweet. It's not overpowering. And you're right. It's 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 not a fizzy drink either. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Mella. Uh, we probably should have sh shook it. It says to shake. All right. It. She's gonna try the chowder. Where's that? Is it good? Best chowder you ever tried in your, in your life? I mean, I've never had salmon chowder. What about chowders um, in general? It's up there. I, I, this is really good. You could definitely taste the salmon. Is it too creamy? No, it's like smoked. It's like a smoky. Smoky? Yes. It's, good. it's a little rich, but it's good. Yeah, it seems thick. Mm. And the weather? It's overcast and like 60s here. Yeah, it's very sweater weather like. It's really yep. nice. It's, it's a very nice day. Nice day. Mm -hmm. okay. So, you, would you have that again? Oh, yeah, I definitely would. All right. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you have it. That's at Pike's Place Chowder. All right, so I cut into the empanadas. Um, I don't know the name of the place we got it, but it's, it's a little food mart right next to uh, Pike's Place Chowder. They have various kinds of empanadas there. This is how the salmon looks like inside. Okay. And then uh, the chorizo. Right there. All right, so I'm gonna try the salmon. All right, so I'm gonna try the, the salmon one. Mm. Tastes like salmon stuffed in a pastry. <laughs> Um, yeah, not that bad. Tastes good. I wouldn't necessarily buy this again, but, you know, I'm glad I tried it. So I think it's one of those things where you, you order it once, try it, just to see if you, you like it. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't necessarily get that again. Now, let me try that chorizo real quick. Here it is right here. Hopefully the camera can zoom in. Uh, kind of a little bit. Uh, there it is. Let me try this now. I should like this more. Right, let's see. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is really good. Oh my god. This is really good. Uh, hun, you may have to try this. I will. All right. When you're done eating this, right. you got to taste the sourdough bread. Sourdough bread? This sourdough bread came with the chowder. This is the best sourdough bread I think I've ever had. No way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. This is so good. All right. Oh, my God. We'll, we'll test that out. So she ripped a chunk of the sourdough bread. Here it is. And I'll try a bite. Here it is. Mm hmm? Mm. It's like sourdough bread, huh? What's the big deal? I love it. It's good. Come here. I don't know. <laughs> it's all mine now. Look at that. Oh my God, you just grabbed it out of my hands. It's good. It's life dependent on it. Well, maybe you have to dip it in this. Maybe it contradicts the... Yeah, I think it's because you're eating the whole clam chowder mm -hmm. thing. And there's capers. Look at this. You can see the capers in here. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh. Sourdough bread just tastes like any other sourdough bread, but she's swearing about it. It's really good. Mm. All right, now now she's going to try the chorizo. Yeah. But eat it with your hands. Well, you got look, look at you, trying to be all fancy with a fork and knife, eating up and hey, You're too high class. Look at that. Fork and knife. Eating empanadas with a fork and knife. You guys tell me in the comments if that's a normal thing. That's good, but I've never had one of these to compare it to. But do you like it? Mm -hmm. And I, I knew you would like it. You like, you're like a meat eater, so. This is better, though. Carnivore. 
Well, that's that's different though. What about the salmon? You gonna try the salmon, or is it too much fish for you? At least take a bite of the salmon. I get with the fork and knife. Look at that. Jeez. Here's the salmon. Raised with a silver spoon. Look at that. Very hoity toity. What do you think? You like it? I think you like fish more than I do, so you probably like the fish empanada. I kind of like the salmon one better, to be honest. Yeah, the salmon. Yeah. Okay, there you guys have it. So these empanadas are really good. Definitely recommend it next time. So, uh, you know, it's that little food market next to the Pikes Place chowder in the alleyway um, here at Pikes Place. Uh, you can't miss it. And highly recommend getting it. Treats empanada and salmon empanada.